great power 60 here. Oof. I look a mess because I've had a very, very busy day. I didn't do any videotaping yesterday, I don't think. That noise in the background is my dog going into his kennel. I had put um, an old pillow in there, and he scratches at it and stuff, but he doesn't really like it, so I put it. So all I put was a blanket in there, and of course he's shoving it and pushing it, and he likes to lay flat, and he likes to lay on nothing. No pillows, no nothing, so anyway. Guess what I'm trying my hand at. Where did I put it? Here it is. I had this booklet. It says eBay journaling. Um, I'm trying to sell things on eBay. Um, I was going through a lot of stuff. Sorry. Oh, I just had a peanut. Um... I was going through all my stuff and I've given a lot, a lot away to Value Village, but there are some things, some things I still have, I still have a lot to give or the thrift store. Um, but I decided that there are some things that I really would like to try and sell. And being in Canada, we have to first sell on ebay.ca, eBay Canada, until we, I'm not sure, I was watching a video to, from a girl that knows she was get, doing um, a video on how to sell on eBay in Canada. And before we can go on ebay.com, which is the United States, or the international, whatever, we have to do something. I don't know whether it's sell a couple of things and then you have to ask. So what I'm going to try and do is um, sell some stuff just to not give them away. Like for instance, I have this really, really cute ring and it's, it's a double um, dolphin. I don't know how well you can see that. That was my daughter's when she was a teenager and she was throwing it out and I said, no, 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 I want to keep it. Of course, it's too small for me. And then I have another ring that she, she was going to throw out and it's a cute little heart with a little diamond in it. I can't remember. I have to use magnifying glass. It's pretty sad. I think it's got one little diamond or two. Anyway, it's a cute little heart. Again, it doesn't fit me. So those are two of the, I haven't put those up yet. Um, my dad had a lot, my dad loved to dress and he liked to have things and he used to have the most elegant and large um, cufflinks with the tie pin. He always had to have the match. Um, I do have some of his, I don't have them here. Oh yeah, they're on the floor. Anyway, um, what the girl suggested was the first thing, just to get my eBay going, is to find something, whether it's from the dollar store or whatever, and you know I have a lot of stuff, um, and just post it for a dollar, 99 cents, whatever, um, just to get it going, get it started, get familiar with how it works. Um, I do have a PayPal account. Um, what else? Um, anyway. And then she guides you through all of this stuff, which is really, really fascinating. Um, and I'm really pleased that I watched it because it really was a step by step. I, I took her advice. I had some, I'll just show you as an example. I had some more of these. I had given some of these away for, um, you know, for the homeless in those bags. I had all kinds of stuff. Well, these are extras that I had. So there's two little notepads in there, it's kind of pretty, and I thought, well, you know, I got three of them, I might as well try and get rid of them, or I could put them in a friend mail, which I still can, because I still have lots of stuff. So I put it up just to see, uh, I'm not going to give you my, my, uh, my eBay account or anything like that, I have a funny name and whatever. But it's something that I had built 
years and years ago and just never used it, never did. And they'd always, you know, co contact me every year. You haven't used it. Are you going, you know, whatever. So that's what I would try and do. So I put that up just to see, you know. Um, and then after I put that up and I thought, well, you know, why not put a couple of other things? So I've got these really, I put them on this black paper just to give it contrast. But I got these really nice cufflinks. They're in great shape that my dad had with the tie pin. You know, I've got these beautiful green ones that are kind of like an emerald green or a jade green. And then he's got these big wraparound, they call them, cufflinks that he had with the tie pin. You know, so I've got that, and um, what I don't have here, I want to keep them all separate. Where did I put them? Oh, down here. And my uncle or stepdad, I don't remember who, had all of these baseball cards or sports cards. Most of them are hockey, I think. And then there's one set of these I thank God these pocket letter things come in handy these Lord of the Rings cards I guess it's from some game I don't know I have no idea so I'm gonna put those up I've got some hockey ones I have no idea if they're worth anything I mean some of them I looked up and they're worth like a dollar but you know what if I can sell like four or five of them it's five bucks five bucks is five bucks and it's just fun to um, go through this process. Look at this cute little mouse that I have. This is the cutest thing. I had this on my desk at work and I used to put notes in here. And you can bend his, you know, his tail more. But I just thought that was the cutest little thing. I used to put my grandson's picture in there. But it's no use to me now. I mean, you know, I've got a lot of stuff and I thought I could do it on Kijiji, but eh, I don't want people coming to my house and stuff like that. So that's what I've been up to today. Yesterday, Mom and I did cleaning. <coughs> Excuse me. I finally got a storage room downstairs, and Mom helped me. I should have videotaped it. It was great. Mom was so helpful. We don't have a trolley, but I did have this cart that I usually keep in the carts, just a square box with a handle and wheels on it. it folds right down, collapses that I do for groceries and stuff like that. Um, so we just piled the uh, big Rubbermaid containers because I had like six of them. Christmas stuff, my summer clothes, I think you show, I showed you. So I got rid of those. I still have some things in the corner to bring down. We can do that a little bit at a time. I've got everything, almost everything off of my shelf. I've gotten that done. This is still a mess because these are the small details. I'm still getting rid of the big stuff. So that's what we've been up to. Not a heck of a lot. Um, hope your week has been going well. Tomorrow, my daughter's still in Costa Rica, so tomorrow is Thursday and Friday. Um, the Her mother-in-law is looking after every morning. She takes the kids to, or takes the baby to preschool and then picks them up in the afternoon and Thursday and Friday is my day. And then Friday night, um, her husband, my daughter's husband comes home, my son-in-law comes home and has the kids for the weekend. And then my daughter is due home, I think Sunday night. So she had a great 10 days uh, away. And uh, she's been sending pictures on uh, Facebook and we've been enjoying that. And she's just enjoying the sun and her company and her yoga retreat. Um, and everything else is doing good. So that's about all we've been up to the last two days. Um, I have been getting things done. I did watch mm, May May Made It. May May Made It is her um, oh, her YouTube channel. Oh, I'm getting tired. And she was showing how to make these sort of twist and pop kind of cards. And I just use thin paper. You know, I do when I do things just for fun, you know, it sort of pops up and you can decorate and do it. These are mini ones that she has from the big cards. So I tried that. 
And the other thing I tried, the glue didn't stay. And it could be that my glue is old. Could be, could be that my glue is old. Let me just fix it here before I show it to you. Um, I could probably use proper glue instead of a uh, tape runner. But let me just put these back on and to show you how cute it turned out. Anyway, and like I said, I just used regular paper. I didn't use card cardstock or anything. I mean, just thin paper. And this is a little um, treat purse. And that's what I made. So I was just sort of experimenting with stuff. What else? And then I had this Filofax, this old one. And I decided to cover it and empty some of the stuff out of it and use that. It's kind of pretty. I'm hoping it'll stay. I have no idea. And then I put some pretty washi on it. It says, oh, happy day across here. Um, the bottom one is explore, travel, and dream, and be the good. And that's it. So that's what I have been up to the last two days. Cleaning, going through stuff. I've been doing most of my... Um, we were cleaning the cover out, one of the, the lower cupboards out in the kitchen to uh, put all the pots and all that stuff in instead of having it in the oven. Hi, Mom. You're into this again? I'm doing my video. Oh, God, for the shit. <laughs> I'm just going. And I'm watching some stuff. Yeah, I turned one light out at the end. I've got to turn off TV. Okay, Mom. Yeah, so. You're I'm headed going. off to bed? What yeah, I'm going to oh, watch TV in bed. Okay. Okay. Yeah, so tomorrow we babysit. Oh, yeah. We got to go. We, go in there? we have to be there for around 2, 2.30. Okay? Yep. Come on. Good night. Good night. <laughs> mom said you're doing your thing. <laughs> Poor mom. I love her. Yeah, we, uh, we've been having fun cleaning out the cupboard in the kitchen and getting that all done. Because I don't like having pots and stuff in the oven. Because then you got to take them all out every time you want to bake something. Put them on the top. Put them on, you know. So we made room, and then uh, I found some other stuff, and I'm going, oh my gosh, we've got to get rid of this, because I don't need two can openers. I don't need two potato mashers. I don't need, you know, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So that's what we've been doing, and of course I've been cleaning up my desk here and trying to get some of my things organized, trying to get some of my stuff together, getting my... Uh, my caddy here from Michael's a little better organized. Um, what else? That's about it. That's all I've been doing. I've uh, been watching videos. I have been checking out different things. I've been, you know, watching how-to videos. I've been watching a couple of the YouTube channel help videos. Uh, checking things out, things that I didn't know. So that's about it. That's about all I've been up to. So I hope everybody had a great first part of their week. Middle of the week. Hump day, as Susan would say. Um, that's about all. I'm going to go have a shower before I go to bed. Because, um, did you, can you hear that? I don't know if you heard that or not. I'll have to play it back. That's our toilet. Every time you flush it, it sounds like a big truck is going by. I don't know why it has to be such force. Uh, I don't, I don't see why that has to be necessary. But I hear them from upstairs sometimes flushing, and it's just like, whoosh, you know, it shouldn't. You shouldn't need that much water pressure, because that's what I think it is: is water pressure. But anyway, um, and it's one of those new, you know, eco, not eco-friendly, but, well, kind of, I guess, you know, water, uh, uh, using less water stuff. Anyway, I'm tired. I'm tired and I'm getting ready for bed. I have a couple more videos to watch. And that's about it. So thanks for joining me and uh, sticking around. And hopefully we'll have a few more videos to put up tomorrow. 
I have to go out and I have to go to Dollarama. Got to pick up some puppy pads. <sighs> Try to think of what else I need to pick up. Yeah. Anyway, guys, thanks for joining me. Kind of a boring one, but just to give you an update as to what I've been up to. Um, I'm just sharing, you know, little things that I'm trying. You know, things that I kind of started to do and then ended up doing something else and then went back like my PayPal account and my eBay. I just wanted to try it um, just to see what, you know, what's what's there, what I can do, what, whatever. Everything's fun, you know, and I thought maybe, you know, trying to uh, sell things on eBay uh, professionally, doing it, I don't mean professionally, I'm an amateur, but, you know, um, keeping track of things and uh, mailing out and making sure things are wrapped properly, making sure it's done professionally and not just a sloppy job. You know, I want to try those couple of things. I remember many, many, many years ago, my brother and his wife used to sell on eBay and they made a lot of money. I remember they had a cabinet, like a pantry cabinet or door, um, or like a wardrobe, but with shelves in it. Anyway, and I remember them, they had, my brother was very meticulous about things and very, very organized. And he had certain kinds of envelopes, certain kinds of bubble wrap, certain kinds of uh, boxes, different sizes for small items, bigger items, um, packing material, labels made, uh, info sheets uh, that he used to send out. I mean, I just remember him being so, and this was, while he was still working in the government, but my sister-in-law didn't work, so you, she used to do like the mailings and all of that stuff, but they sold quite a bit on eBay, um, but this was when it was really hot. I don't know if it still is really a hot place or if all these other places like Etsy and stuff have taken over. I'm not into that sort of um, world, so I'm not sure what, you know, what's going on. But we shall see. We shall see. We shall see. I have to. Um, I have to go and get. There's a form that uh, gives me a better idea on the cost of things. I, you know, I know that a lot of the videos have recommended you know getting one of those little scales. You know, I can I can judge from the stuff that I have sent to people. Um, I have a pretty good idea what it would be. It's a little cheaper in Canada than to send it to the States, obviously. Um, so anyway, we shall see. I, I have no idea. i got to find out all that information. But right now, I am only uh, selling in Canada. So we'll see what happens. It may not go anywhere. It may sit there as a dud for a year. I don't know. But uh, we'll see. I'm just trying something new. Just do something different. And I spent most of the day um, taking photos of things, loading it up, you know, cleaning things off, doing this, doing that, whatever. And that's, now I'm exhausted. And poor mom, she kept coming in every once in a while. You okay? Do you need anything? <laughs> I think she was kind of lonesome because I spent the whole day here. Anyway, guys, I'm going to let you go. Thanks for joining me, and we'll see you again soon. Thanks for uh, coming back and watching my nonsense. Appreciate it. We'll see you soon. Bye for now.